This is Kevin Cassis for Rifle TV in association with Mac and Jim Marba. We're at the Holiday Inn here uh, for the main event, Whitfield and Billericke Boxing Show. With me, returning with a win, Bobby Watson, with a unanimous decision win over Sean Barney, I believe his name is. Thanks, so. Tom. How did you feel after that? Yeah, good. Good, it was a good bout. I think that's the best I've ever boxed. Obviously, you're uh, returning to the ring after a few months out, after October. October, where you suffered your first defeat as an amateur. Yeah. So, was it a difficult time in that, in that period? Yeah, Might have I, yourself was, back? I was, like, it made me quite depressed after my first loss. I wasn't expecting it because I felt invincible after my two, two wins. I took a loss and all due to fitness and then felt depressed, come back stronger, got the win. Pretty good. It seemed like in your last fight, the uh, fitness seems to be a little bit of an issue for you and it let you down that night. But tonight, um, improved fitness and it was more controlled performance uh, especially in the in the opening rounds uh, your opponent came charging at you in the third round but you controlled that round as well yeah he's a uh, he's like little mike tyson he's quite small he's back, his head was about my shoulder height so i just jabbed him moved made sure i wasn't getting hit but i was hitting him end up pretty well i've been doing the road work at home so I was fit enough for the fight. I feel like I've put in a good performance on that. Is it giving you sort of the bite back? Like I said, after the defeat, you were a bit down and, and like I said, a bit depressed yeah. over that. But is tonight's performance sort of giving you your hunger and your bite back? Yeah, I weren't, I weren't sure if I wanted to box tonight. I weren't, I weren't 100% sure, but now I've boxed and I've won. I can't wait. I want to box it again. I want to box next week. I just going to get a guy again. And obviously, not everyone will know, but you have been a little bit ill with the last couple of days as well. I've had the cough. No thanks to someone. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I'm cold. I'm good. I, I feel like my performance showed that tonight. And I'm happy with it. From where I was standing, I couldn't quite tell whether it was a, a legitimate knockdown or whether he slipped. It was, it was hard because he come through. Uh, I can't remember what shot he threw. I think he threw a jab, and I blocked him my right, come through, and I stepped in with my jab. It was sort of like a push. I don't know. It could have been counted as a knockdown, it might not have, but it weren't. It didn't give him an eight count, but it don't matter. I still got the win. It doesn't bother me. Did you expect him to come at you in the third round? Yeah. I, I I thought he was gonna start from the from the first round. He was gonna be swinging because he was so small compared to me. I've got quite a long reach, even. For my height, my reach is quite long, so for someone his height, it would have been torture. Over the last sort of couple of weeks, uh, you, you spent quite a lot of time with uh, some professional boxers, uh, including Anthony Joshua, who was giving a lot of advice the other day. Yeah, I'd like to thank all them. Thank them. Uh, they've done a lot. But he's, when he was in the gym, obviously, you've done that interview with him, but beforehand, he was giving you a lot of advice. Yeah. What yeah. was he saying to you? Make sure you run, put in that road work. And it's true, it is true. No, no, you will not find a great champion that don't run. So if you are boxing, make sure you're running. So are you telling that to people or are you telling that to yourself? I'm telling that to myself, I'm telling that to everyone. Anyone that's boxing, you make sure you run, otherwise you will not be fit for your fight. Did you feel fitter in there tonight? I felt fitter. I, you know, honestly, maybe I could have done more. In the, I could have done a bit more at home, because in the third round I felt a bit tired. But I've done enough, obviously, I've got the win, so I'm proud of that. Well, like I said, sometimes I remember him saying to you that, talking about to Joshua, yeah, that he lost his third fight and, like I said, bounced back uh, in his fourth fight with a win, so... And look where he is now. You wait. <laughs> you wait for me. <laughs> World champion of soon. Not heavyweight, though. Not we, should, we should have had uh, um, Mum Cam tonight. Oh no. Should have had mum cam tonight because uh, yeah, you, there will be some footage flying around of your mum going like <laughs> a nut tonight. But uh, she's no, she, she's alright. She's just supporting me. She? I like the fact. I thank everyone that come tonight. Everyone at home that's supporting everyone. Everyone online has been wishing me luck. Thank you. So when can we expect to see you out again? Whenever, whenever. I'm I'm fit at the moment. As long as I carry my money, my coach gets me a fight and be done. I'm ready. So how are you going to find the time for uh, a boxing career and also an, an interview for IFL TV? How are you going to sort of juggle both? 
I'll, right, find, yeah. I'll find a way. Find I'll, a I'll way. end up running to shows. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, listen, Bobby Watson, congratulations. It's an unanimous decision win tonight. Like I said, very controlled performance, and it, you were like a different fighter in there from, from that last performance. So, well done, you're back thank on you. track. You thank want to thank you. anyone else? Everyone. Just everyone that's wished me luck. Everyone. Everyone that's supported me throughout everything, even when I lost. Just everyone. Everyone online. Like, I'd, anyone. Yeah. Thank you. All right. This is Coon Cassius with Bobby Watson for IFL TV. Thank you very much. Peace.